Welcome to another edition of How To Q. I am going to show you how I removed a dishwasher that isn't here. It's out there. If you want to find out how I removed that dishwasher, check out this video now. First thing you want to do is go underneath your sink. Here is where the disposal and dishwasher is plugged in. And I'm just showing you the drain hose for the dishwasher you'll, you'll eventually pull out. Once you get the dishwasher unplugged, next, anytime you're working with any sort of plumbing, turn off the water. Here are the water supply shutoff valves. Turn it to the right, not the left. The water supply lines from underneath the sink. Let's see how that works. Okay, that's the hot side. So the hot side works. Now I'm gonna move it down to the cold side. Great, cold side doesn't work. Now I've got to go outside and shut off the water into the house. Okay, I've gone outside. I've shut off the water supply to the house. Let's see if that works now. There's hot again, and there's cold. Great. We're in business. Okay, if you watch my video on how to remove this sink, um, I've got another line here. It's so easy to get to because I removed the sink. I'm going to remove that line and then we'll um, pull the dishwasher after we unscrew a few bolts. I have a more recent dishwasher. You only got two screws up here. One here, one here. I'll show that in a second. Um, this is a much older machine and they've got it screwed into all these sides that obviously makes it more stable, but uh, not these days. So I'm going to unscrew these and then we'll be able to basically pull it out. That's after, of course, we removed all the plumbing from underneath, typically the sink. I'll do that now. A lot of people when they remove dishwashers forget about this lower trim piece. There are actually two on this dishwasher. If you pull out that dishwasher without removing that, you will bend it and you won't be able to pull out the dishwasher. Here's a shot of the legs of the dishwasher. They often get caught on the lip of the flooring, so watch out for that. I'm pointing out these tabs because invariably they will get caught on the lip of the countertop, so have something available that allows you to slide those tabs past that lip. Luckily, the dishwasher is really light, so the only difficulty you really have is pulling those tabs past the lip of the counter and getting the legs above the lip of the flooring. And here you see where the legs are getting stuck on that tile, so I've got to lift it up a little bit. Once you get the dishwasher out, it's now time to pull those lines through the back of your cabinets. Okay, I uh, got this pulled. I wasn't really used to seeing these. You typically just have these two tabs. If you get a dishwasher today, you're just gonna have these two tabs. Um, 
definitely have something you can use to kind of get them past the lip. There's always going to be a lip on a countertop, whether it's tile or not, but uh, that's basically how you pull a dishwasher. Check out the rest of the demo right up here to the right, and as always, please subscribe to How To Q, and definitely like this video when we're done, and thanks for watching. See you next time on How To Q.